Hello everybody, my name is Kademar. Welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue the series, boys. Now, I went ahead... Uh, we started going a little bit better, but not good enough to the point where we're going to make the playoffs. So, we really need to start this up, start our winning streak. So, I went ahead and changed the lineups. Uh, just to see if it would work boys. So right now I'm doing my the best I can basically to Upgrade the lineups. I'm putting Ecker and Panarin which are both passers Now Panarin can pro uh, Ecker. I mean pr probably do both Panarin is a, a passer for sure. He's an assist man So Ecker is a 99 overall. He can probably end up doing both and Abdul Kader is going to be the power forward uh, to help them out uh, help clear out the way and basically everybody I'm moving the, him down to the second line where he should be playing anyways He's playing with Larkin and Menta, which I cannot move out of the way because they need to grow So I need to put uh, keep them there. So Menta's a power forward as well So he's gonna put them out of the way uh, We're looking for Larkin and Everly, which are both passers uh, as well, I think Larkin might be able to be a scorer. I'm not entirely sure, boys. Uh, Zvechnikov, he's a... We don't really know what he is just yet. He only played two, uh, 20 games, and he's only got tw two, um, two assists, so I don't know what he is exactly. Uh, Bertuzzi, he's kind of both. And Ferk, he's kind of both, too. So they're both... Um, I don't know which get the first. I think the third line is gonna uh, is gonna struggle. The fourth line should be fine now. I think uh, it should be good enough. We've got someone in Glendening which can do both. Um, Nilsson is a is a pa an assist man and Rasmussen is a passer, boys. And for the defense, we've got Shara. So the two way defenseman with the Kaiser are defensive defenseman, uh, defensive defenseman in. Uh, Jonathan Erickson with an offensive defenseman with my green and the, si the top six is a Sulak defensive defenseman with a daily two-way defenseman so defense is where you absolutely want your players to be to have a defenseman uh, an offensive or, an, or a two-way with a defensive defenseman so that you can at least have so uh, one of the, or your defensemen on the, that line that protects the other one when the other one pinches all right so that's what i'm talking about right here so we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing as we uh, were doing last time so let's go after two or uh, ten games so we're going to go up to the Car carolina hurricanes game we're going to see if we're going to have to make any trades boys if there's any players that are going to grow guarantee you that our def defense our two defensemen might be uh, ready to play in the NHL eventually, like Ronex, one of them. Um, I want to see how good our team gets. Don't want to switch anything up. Don't want to mess anything up. Uh, I'm not going to be afraid to, uh, in this series, boys, to trade younger prospects instead of veterans. I am not going to be a trade. I already did it with uh, Athanasiu. All right, so uh, not afraid of doing anything. Our Glendening on the fourth line is injured. We're gonna have to replace him really quick. Decline trade. Now I'm declining the trades that are being asked from me because I don't want to make any trades that are being asked. Uh, Bryanson is injured as well. God damn, the injuries are coming in, boys. So I I want to instead do my the trades myself to make sure that I know exactly what I'm trading for. I'm not trading for first liners, <laughs> first round picks. I'm not trading those, especially when uh, we don't even know if we're gonna make the playoffs. We don't even know where, what's our status really. Right now, we're basically, uh, okay, yeah, you know, Glendening's back. Can't even talk right now. Too much things happening, too many uh, injuries popping off and stuff. So uh, Glendening's back, there we go, we're good. So at least there's that. So right now we are, Let's see after the after the the game where right where we last left off, we were three three wins two and one or so three two and one. Let's see if we win against uh, Philadelphia. I hope so at least. If we yeah we win so four two and one, that's good boys. So far so good. We're doing all right. 
uh, this is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if it uh, the lineups, the line changes I would make, it would work. And it seems like it is. Seems like it's working just fine. We are losing some games, but it's unavailable. We cannot. We don't have like the team to be able to have a big winning streak. But we can have. We can bounce back after a loss. So after some losses, so that's good. So Brian Flynn, where was he playing exactly? Because I don't remember. Let's me check. He's a uh, left winger. All right, so he's he was left winger. That's interesting. We got two deaths in here, so these were guaranteed. So I'm guessing he was playing instead of this guy, this young prospect right here. So let's just go ahead and place a Brian Flynn back again, boys. All right, so no, I don't want to make any trades. They're really asking me our time right here. So let's see, after 10 games, boys, we are 6-3-1, and one. so really good record after 10 games. Ecker is really starting to put himself back together. He's got 20 goals, 34 assists, so it does seem like Ecker is more of an assist man. But uh, the team's doing fine, so I don't want to switch anything up if it's doing fine. So we are getting back up. We're working big time. We're going to really be working towards the end of here, the last couple of weeks are going to be crucial for us last uh, the three last months are going to be crucial because we're working for the wild card big time right here as you can see 59 uh, points 61 points for uh, ottawa so we're working against them we also got buffalo a uh, 69 right here uh which are in the playoff as as uh, yet but um it's really Metropolitan. It's going to be hard because 68, 69. Metropolitan is really tough. So, yeah. I'm going to, it's going to be a little bit rough, boys. We're going to see if, I, if we can do this or not. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Edit lineups. Uh, I guess I want to see at our lineups if we're doing fine. Let's see at our lineups really quick. We have to do it anyways because we have to see eventually in AHL if anybody's ready to play so let's see any plus players okay so the, the second line's not doing too well i can see that the second line is kind of struggling so uh, eberle is a pass an assist man of course and so is larkin so both are doing assists and it's ending up being a uh, mental which shouldn't be the score he's the score should be the one like we don't have a score on the second line, boys. That's the problem. But I can't, like, I don't have anybody to put in the second line that would score. So Svechnikov is a pa as assist man as well. We've got a lot of assist men, boys. We need to find scores. We need to find the people that uh, actually can score. Like this guy right here. So Rasmussen is a big score, big time score. Uh, Nilsson. So this is going fine, as I predicted. They are horrible. They're giving a lot of goals, but it is what it is, boys. So let's check in the AHL. Anybody ready to play? Doesn't seem like it as as yet. So let's see over here. Are my two defensemen not not yet. They're not yet ready. So we're gonna have to wait for them to all up until the actual trade deadline. So the last day of the tr for the trades, we're gonna have to wait for them over there to see if they're actually uh, actually grow or something like that so let me just check out the scouts really quick now the scouts are fine like this uh, let me do that the scouts right here now I'm gonna switch it up a little bit uh, this guy's a medium elite it says it's gonna be like backstrom so that's cool that's good for us uh, anybody here there is somebody right here we need to uncover all right, so let me just uh, do that in a second, boys. All right, I'm feeling confident, boys. So what we're going to do, I think our team is doing fine right now as it is. We're just going to go ahead and simulate up until this trade deadline right here. So uh, right before it, so uh, the 26th, where we're going to simulate three games in total. See how the team goes. And uh, get some trades done, maybe, uh, to help, uh, help us out eventually if we need it or if there's any prospects that are ready to play in the nhl so we do end up winning uh two two games in a row now after this so 
We're, we were in a three winning streak, three game winning streak. We are scoring goals now, which is really good, boys, because I think that's what was struggling for us, maybe. We got four goals, five goals for us, five goals for us. Uh, we're getting giving a little bit more, uh, too many goals, though. Um, and that's the uh, only issue right now, but that's fine. So for the start of the other 10 games, so far we are two and one. So that's okay, boys. So we're still struggling, we're still working it out. We really need to start winning big time. So we need to win basically all of our games almost. Let me just check in the AHL if there's really anybody ready uh, at all. Like anybody that would be ready to play for us. So let me just see anybody here. Doesn't look like it, nobody's ready. So we need defense wise. There are, it doesn't, like it says that they're not ready yet. So if they're not ready, that's fine by me, boys. They're not ready to play. That's okay. So let's just, what, is he a deaf defense? Okay, yeah. So minor top two. He should be playing there, but yeah. I can't do that because I already have my, my deaf. I've got too, way too many prospects, boys, on my uh, defensive uh, core right here right now so we don't have any trades to do so we're not gonna make any trades boys I don't feel like I need to or I don't know who I would trade for at this point we don't even know if we're gonna make the playoffs so it, I wouldn't I don't want to go for a guy a veteran guy and have him have a contract about it. and even though the contracts don't matter in my franchises um, I don't want to get a, a player and just make him play waste him when we don't even know if we're gonna make the playoffs so let's forget about that right now so that's that was two four with the capitals six uh eight and ten so we're gonna go all the way up to this game right here the columbus game so let's see how we do after this simulation right here we're gonna pass this up really nice boys pretty nicely right here so i don't know if we won this we were 27 and 27, so let's see if we won or not. We do have somebody who got injured, so AHL is really struggling right now. It's a lot of people getting injured. Uh, Glendening is injured as well. God damn. Injuries are really hard right now, boys. So it looks like we we lost our last game, boys. Uh, so last two games, I think we might have lost or something. Yeah, I think we lost two games in a row. Rasmussen is injured. For God's sake, it's our entire fourth line now that is injured. What do you, this is getting ridiculous, boys. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. Now I gotta, I gotta go to the roster moves. Gotta go. Yeah, I know. I gotta go to the roster moves, boys. Get in the system and check up uh, who who is available for me. So these are defensemen. So. Gotta check for three. I've got three forwards right here who can play. Who's um? So this guy, not really. I would check maybe for. I just lost my score basically. So I need to replace my score with another score. Uh, Terry is one, and Pumpol is a score as well. So let me get Pumpol. Might be better than Terry. There we go. Might be better than Terry, boys. So let me just do that. I'm gonna do the lineups really quick. So many injuries, boys. We got two me two guys from my fourth line injured right now. It's ridiculous. All right, Pimple, you're in. And I guess in the AHL right now, we got to do this like that. And we got to put basically this guy right here. All right, boys. Oh my god. Okay. There's a, a lineup. I hate when it does that though. I hate when it uh, gives us a player in the uh, that we gotta place in the three on threes and stuff and like that. I hate that so much. Okay, this guy, you're going in. Let's go. All right, we're good here. God damn, boys! And even could feel like you could see uh, even uh, Daly got injured for a bit there. Uh, he's fine. He was it was a minor injury. So three wins, four wins in a row at least. That's that. The fourth line seems it's working. It seems like it's working with the two uh, replacements, the two deaf forwards that are replacement uh, or replacements right now. 
So we got on to, we've ended up with uh, a five winning streak, five game winning streak right now, which makes us with a record of seven and three after 10 games, boys. Let's see where we are. 73 points now with 32 uh, game, uh, wins. Now, I feel like we started winning a little bit too late there, though. We are in March already, middle of March. We're almost done, like one, two or three weeks, and the season is over, basically, boys. You can see right there. We've got uh, 12 games remaining only, and I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I really don't know. 75. It might be possible. It mi we might be able to, boys. We might be able to. What's the other one? Ottawa Senators, we're really working with them. We might be able to do it. We need to continue to win and we might be able to clinch at the last second a playoff spot, boys. Uh, I don't know. It might uh, it might be possible. Might not. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to look at the uh, stuff. We're doing, we're doing fine, so I don't want to look at... Uh, well, you know what? Actually, I am going to look at our stats, but give me a second for the scouts real quick. So who's got the most goals? Panarin's actually got the most goals for our team. Seems like Panarin is, they're kind of both doing the same thing. Well, there's not really a score in the first line. There's no scores. So both are doing passes a lot and both are basically giving themselves, uh, giving each other goals. So 28 goals. Doesn't look like we're going to have a big player. We're, Panarin's probably going to be able to get to the 30 goals mark. But that's about it. It's not a big score, boys. But we do have an Acre, which has 67 points in, se uh, in 70 games played. So he might be able to actually... In 12 games, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get to more points than goals but, uh, games played, boys. I want him to do that. Just because he's a 99 of Raleigh, he should be doing that, you know. Uh, Panarin 65 uh, points, so he's doing a very well, a very good year for him. Eberle to 49 points, you know, they're doing fine. Uh, these guys, not so much though. They need to get to 40 points, they're not going to get there. It's going to be kind of a disappointing year for them because I just switched it up. I just switched the lineups recently, so they hadn't... The, all the entire rest of the year, they had a difficult time, basically. Uh, goal tender wise right now, 28 uh, wins so far. So a really tough year for Brubowski. We just signed him, too. He's not playing uh, good enough. He's playing uh, decent. He's playing, uh, he's playing decent. But he's not playing like uh, a, good, a good elite player, a good elite uh, goaltender. Uh, Bernier is fine, uh, I guess. Yeah, he's, I guess he's fine. He's not playing good. He's just playing fine too. So you can see all of our players are just playing fine right now, which is putting us in a good situation. So let's just see where we are, where we are in terms of goals per game. Go goals per game. We're actually dead, almost dead last in goals per game. We're not scoring that much. We are starting to score a little bit more. I guess we moved up a little bit, but in terms of percentage, but not that much. We are not giving any goals, actually goals against per game. We're actually the one of the most offensive team of our division, which is an interesting thing to see. And for like power play, I don't know how to fix that up, boys. I just don't know how how, it's gonna, how it works exactly. So. Can't any, can't really move it uh, or fix it, so we are really bad at power play, and we are the worst team in penalty kill. Basically, it's uh, nothing I can do here. It's the, it's basically that that's killing us. Is the, uh, what's killing us is basically that it's the um, special units. Special units are killing us big time. But let's just go ahead and simulate. So two, four, six. 8 and 10. Uh, let me make sure I'm not making a mistake right here. I am not. I'm not making any mistakes. Good. So, we are in the last section of the season right here, boys. Last section of the season. We, uh, we're in 1 and 1 right now, it looks like. Rasmussen is back. So, Pumpel, you're out of here. 
Looks like your ending is injured for a long time, boys. Uh, so... Where is Rasmussen? Huh. Was he a center? Oh, you're, yeah, right. Rasmussen's a center. Okay. Yeah, Rasmussen, you're back there. There we go. There we go. I'm not going to put back um, the other guy in. doesn't matter, really. Our Actually, our, our team is doing really good in the AHL. Better than our NHL teams, that's for sure. And Shara is injured. For God's sake, can I stop with the can we stop with the injuries? It was doing fine, and now we're starting to lose because of these goddamn injuries. We need to win all of our games, and now we're gonna lose, and we're not gonna make the payoffs because of that. And Danny Kaiser, of course, gets injured. Our two top defensemen, boys, are getting injured. What am I? What is this nonsense right now, boys? And it gets us back. I know. I just put him back. All right, and we are we win two games in a row, three games in a row that we win. But look at this, boys. So, I, I, because of the injuries, wasn't too good at all. Because of the injuries, we kind of got like three, four, like three losses in a row in regulation. Then a, a shootout a go, uh, so basically a point, and three games in a row that we won. So let's see where we are, where we stand. 40, 84 points. Uh, we still technically have a chance. Now nah, we're not making the playoffs. All right. Well, we're not going to make the playoffs because of these losses, boys. See, we had to win all of our games, our remaining games. We did not. We uh, going on a three-game losing streak was exactly the the type of thing we did not want to do. And yes, it's a good record, five, four, and one, but. We, we didn't we wanted to have a record like nine or eight we needed that and that was never gonna happen with our team so we're not gonna make the playoffs boys the metropolitan division is way too tough for us so not gonna happen unfortunately and that's uh that's a really big time shame right there boys really big time shame so we're just gonna go ahead and and uh, advance the day we're just gonna we're gonna skip ahead so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go up to the last game which is a Florida Panthers game there we go we win against Tampa Bay I guess that's a good thing the Kaiser is back now uh, a little bit too late buddy why did you why did you get injured when uh, uh, when it wasn't time to do it I don't know boys the Kaiser you're going back here well Four winning, four game winning streak. A little bit too late. A little bit too late. I got a mid boys. Uh, we are at 86 points, but look at this. The Buffalo Sabres only made the playoffs. 89 points, and uh, yeah, they clinched the playoffs. The last team, the Rangers, at 91 points. A little bit too late. I always say, boys, that you gotta get 40 wins minimum uh, with a team in the rig in the season where if you want to get to the playoffs. Did it happen? So, of course, we were not going to make the playoffs. You got to get minimum 40 wins. And uh, we got, like, we got 38 wins, which is really not enough. Even with our 10 loss in regulation, it's not enough, boys. So, let's just go ahead and see uh, where we stand off. I'm going to just do this, uh, the scouts really quick, though. Just look at the scouts, and uh, we'll simulate... The game boys we'll, we'll commentate on the game just like we did last time for the last um see end of the season let's do this boys let's see how how it goes for the simulation in itself so let's just see how it goes uh, first period right away I'm not gonna waste any more time so zero to zero 11 to nine shots for us after the first period we had them we're gonna end up strong so th that I know are we going to end up with, uh, like, l are we going to lose or win our last game? I don't know, boys. But we finished pretty strong this season. So this is the second period right there. So let's see what we got. Tepet on the Florida Tempers, uh, Panthers ended up w uh, scoring. But Adol Keller, Mike Green, and Franz Nilsson's all of our... Well, uh, Adol Keller is on first line. But first line, Mike Green... And the Nilsson, the fourth line, is actually popping off for us. So that's really good for us, boys. So, 
rather than know what to do. We're gonna jump into the game, see um, how the team goes, how the team does, boys, and um, hopefully we're gonna win this game. We have a three, two, one um, advantage right here. Three, one uh, game. So let's see if we can win it. So All right, boys. Let me actually uh, get the commentators out of here. Gotta, I gotta always, I forget always to do that. So the audio, get the uh, volume out of here for the commentary. There we go. And let's us do this. There we go. So, oh, hang on, I don't want to play. I don't want to play, boys. I was playing for their managed teams. Uh, select size. There we go. No sides chosen. God damn, why am I never ready for this? Alright, let's go. First, pe uh, third period, boys. Last period, Jensen. Uh, we're starting off with the fourth line. Or no, that's the act. Uh, it's just Jensen with Abdul Kader. Okay, no. It's just Jensen because uh, Chara is replacing Chara. That's right. So, who's that? I think that's not that enough. Uh, 763, though. But because that enough is not playing for them anymore. I, I really doubt it. Panarin, boys. It's the first line. Panarin with Abdul Kader. See what they can do for us. Uh, Jensen's going to put it back. Cycle it around. Panarin shoots. Great save from Longo. He's going to pass it back to Martinson. Uh, back to Barkov in the middle. Going to drive around with Uberdo. Uberdo with Barkov, boys. He's just going to drop it. In there, oh, it, it is that enough. So that enough, uh, Uberdo and uh, Barkov. Okay, that enough shoots it, slap shot off the top uh, of the blue line. Doesn't do anything. Uh, goalie saves it. So we're gonna be a, a little bit of cycling problem right here. There we go. Larkin with the Kaiser shoots it. Great save by Luongo again. So lots of shots right now. Owen Tippett, the one who scored, the only one who scored for his team. Let's see what he can do for his team. Nothing as he gets uh, his, he loses the puck to Jensen, who goes back to Larkin, drives around, turns around again, looks for a teammate in Eberle, gets it, finds it, gets the Kaiser, I think, in the t uh, all, all the way, uh, all the way back there, but uh, misses the shot. So Bukestad in there, uh, loses the puck to Jensen. So Jensen's really doing a great job. Uh, getting the puck from the teammates uh, from the the other teams a uh, true check right now is doing a fine job with owen tippett so owen tippett's lineup seems like it's uh it's really good for them but we're gonna just dry, dump it around so we can make the line changes see we've got on the team at 47 i don't know i think it's svechnikov probably oh god you can't let guys you can't let them shoot like that there's Bukestad right here, shoots and a great save by our goaltender Burbaski. Eberle is going to drive around, go into the front, uh, go into the middle to Ferk, go, goes and shoots and Eberle shoots another one. That's a good one. They're trying to, uh, we're trying to snipe it right now. It's, we're doing fine, we're shooting a lot. Uh, Bukestad is having a great third period right now. Owen Tippett's line really is doing absolutely great. Oren Tippett just had a, another uh, opportunity right here. They're pulling out their goaltender. Let's go, Eberle, Eberle. Pass it around, man. Let's go. It's, it's, I know it's an advantage, but there we go. Sulak misses completely the goal, boys. A free goal for him misses it completely. I don't know what he was thinking right there. Let's go, boys. We've got um, Pisic right here. Oh, my God. A great big slap shot of the blue line. Misses completely. Madison goes back to Mamian with a strange name. Tippett shoots it again. Barbowski is ready for it. We're going to win the game, boys. Question is, are we going to have another free goal for our team? We're going to see. This girl seems like uh, she's all over the place in here. They're not voting for the right team. Unless, uh, I mean, I don't even know if the Panthers. I shouldn't say that. I don't even know if the Panthers are making the playoffs or not. <laughs> uh, we're not so I, I don't have a thing to, uh, to say but oh my god it misses the uh, come on now Panarin uh, completely missed the net right there boys Panarin let's go 
You got a free goal, my my guy. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. You just wanted to give the goal, free goal to uh, who is it? Who scored? I don't even know who I, who that was. It's with uh, Sulak. So is it? Uh, it's Mike Green. Oh, there you go. His eighth goal of the game. Uh, Eighth goal of the uh, year, boys. It's the second goal of the game, too. Could have had a hat trick if you had more time, boys, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen. But two goals in game, eighth for the season. Mike Green had a, a good, decent year with us, that's for sure. Panarin was very generous on that. He could have scored himself. This is the lineup with Ecker. Ecker is actually pretty, like, he looks really strong. He looks like a big dude in there. God damn, didn't think he was that uh, that big. But there's a nice win for our team, boys, and uh, that's nice to see. That's how you want to finish your season at least with a five-game winning streak. But fortunately, the five-game winning streak was not enough in the end to uh, may put us into the playoffs. The Metropolitan Division was way too strong, and we started off way too weak in the season itself in order to do anything really there we go we just had to win a couple more one or one game or two uh, actually no two games two or three more games and we would have made it but uh the first the start of the season was really awful for us so really made us uh, drove against us big time so let's just advance the day we're going to look at the stats boys for our team let's look at the stats really quick uh, are we good here? There we go. Season complete. Roster management. Um, I'm gonna say Eric. Okay, so Ericsson's back. So I need to just switch it up because I don't want to. Uh, Ericsson's back. Oh, he was already playing. I don't know why they said that. Minor injury, I guess. Let's look at the stats for the team. Not the team, but for individual stats, I guess. So I guess our best scorer. We actually have a 35 goal scorer right here on Panarin. Panarin ended up with 35 goals. The only one with 30 goals or, or more. But um, I guess the first line did okay. Uh, Panarin did fine. He had a great year uh, with us at uh, 80 points in 82 games. A really great year for him. He's not 90 overall, so... I. Getting 60 points is uh, is minimum for me for him and he gets uh, 80 boys. So that's really good uh, Now Ecker uh, Or 50 points I would even say but Ecker he needs to get more points than goals because he's a 90 plus overall and he's an elite so did not do that he did his job at the very end he was able to play well it's just that he did it too uh, too uh, too late, so ended up having a a disappointing year compared to what he could have had. So 81 games. Uh, Eberle played fine. So let me just look at our our forwards basically. So Eberle did great, 60 points. Menta supposed to have 40 points. So the second line 40 points, boys. So Menta did a really great, actually. Yeah, he ended up doing great. Larkin did uh, he did his job, just his job, just about enough, forty-one points. So that's uh, really good for him. Uh, Bertuzzi now on the third line, third liner, third liners are supposed to get, uh, I'd say, twenty, uh, thirty points, thirty points for the third liners. Third, he got the thirty points. Martin Furk as well. Uh, Advocator unfortunately did not. He was over, almost there, boys. If they do not complete the 30 go, uh, the 30 points or something, if you do not do the points, um, I'm looking at the plus minuses. So he's he's a plus my he's a plus guy, and um, I guess that's all that matters. I want to see if he's a plus guy or not. All right, uh, Nilsson. Uh, Nilsson on the ended up being a third liner. So. Oh, no, he always was a third liner. Yeah, so third liner. He was playing on the fourth line. Um, not a good year for him at all. So not a good year. Only 27 points. He should have got 30. He did not do the job. So Nielsen had a bad year. Uh, Svechnikov had a... Well, he only had 52 uh, games played. Uh, we cannot count that, really. But doesn't look like he was going to get the 30 points anyways. 
the uh, yeah he does he wasn't going to get the 30 points from the looks of it so a bad year for Svechnikov and Nilsson um, good year for Rasmussen he did all he did all right uh, Glendening he had um, a good year or an okay year for these two I guess Martinuk all right let's look at our, at our defense boys defense first so defense wise top four top fours need to get uh, 30 uh, 30 points as well 30 points for the top fours boys so I guess Mike Green got the 35 points so he did really great he had a, a, gr a good year my Mike Green for uh, well he's an offensive defenseman never mind that he had a good year um, Shara had a tough time he got injured a little bit don't know even if he had played all the games I don't know if he would have made the 30 points but he had a, a good decent year because he's at the plus the kaiser is a top four as well so the kaiser really disappointing in points but he did the job um daily uh daily is a top six so he did the job uh, jensen he's a deaf so we're not going to talk about that he's a replacement but uh, look at this nine points in 11 games played jensen actually was great for a deaf defenseman uh, Sulak now the top six defenseman right here um, he did not do his job yeah he did not do his job he had a bad year and so did Erickson Erickson and uh, Sulak had a bad year Brabovsky had an okay year uh, 31 wins 30 wins minimum for a goaltender that uh, like is a starter a starting goaltender I would say in the tw 25 or something but an elite goaltender i want him to get 30 wins so he got the 30 wins so that's fine and bernier um he did all right he did all right boys and I, I oh yeah i need to look at the individual stats for the nhl in itself entirely so let's just look at the uh, entire league boys just to see who's the best really so best score Seems like it was the year for Oveshkin boys. 67 point, uh, goals. 67 goals. The only goal scorer with 50 goals or more. Alright, that's interesting. And for the points, he's the best player of the year with 103 points, boys. Unbelievable year for Ovechkin. Uh Sagan, Tarasenko right there. Kuznetsov, so really great year for the Capitals. McDavid right here. Crosby. Pedersen. Uh, Lainey and Ecker. So Ecker ended up in the best, uh, within the best players, boys. Actually, so not a bad year for Ecker. It's his first year too. Uh, ended up with the best, like in within the best. Uh, probably, I think he's a tenth. Yeah, I think he's a tenth, be tenth best player of the year. It's just that um, he could have had a better year if he started better, but that's okay. Panarin actually, uh, yeah. So Ecker and Panarin really great together. Now defense wise, we've got Matt Dumba of all people, boys. All right, Matt Dumba, seventy three points. That is great. I was not expecting that. Carlson seventy two points. There's a name I always see. Um, Klinberg, Ekman, Larson, Shattenkirk, Eric Carlson, the other one. Uh, Ty Tyson Berry. Dowdy and Mike Riley. All right, these are the names, boys. And for goaltender wise, Bu uh, Dumnik and Anderson both uh, equal with 40, 45 wins each. Seems like um, Anderson's going to be the one with the Vizina trophy, though, with nine, 93% uh, percent, uh, saving percentage. So. Olby uh, 42, 44 Pecorini, which is now in the Philadelphia Flyers. So he got traded, it looks like. And uh, there it is. There's the goaltenders, wise, uh, wise boys. So the rookie skaters, the best rookie of the year, of course, Henry Ecker uh, came out of nowhere with a 99. So Henry Ecker, best rookie of the year, of course. After that, it was Colin White, uh, Nylander, and all of that. All right, so here it is boys here it is next video we're gonna simulate until the draft we're gonna see who wins the cup and uh i guess work our things uh, work things out for a third year 
uh, which the third year I'm really co looking to make the playoffs. So I don't, if I knew, do not make the playoffs in the third year, boys, I consider that a failed contract as a GM for me. And um, I cannot change teams. Can't change teams in this, boys. But I, uh, I would do it if I could. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.